Hello and welcome back to What Time. Paul Marriott here. Last week we took a look at the just released Sideload Channel Launcher 2 and our verdict was a full five stars with one or two reservations. If you missed that review, there's a link right over there where that arrow's pointing. Since that review, we've been in touch with the developer and we're very pleased to say that most of the points have been sorted out, which means it's time for me to say, let's get stuck in. What time? Well, it take time. So let's go through that uh, cons list and see what's been sorted out. The first one was settings can't be accessed from the app drawer yet. OK, so if we come down to the app drawer, open that up. And one of the first things we were going to look settings, boom, now works perfectly. Good. Come out of there and let's go. The other thing that we needed to test that wasn't working was the Android TV home. And that is also working perfectly. Here we are on our Android TV home screen. And let's go back to Silo channel. And as you can see, we've also added a um, settings icon to our home screen here, which brings up the settings there. OK. The next thing was the no power dialog on the main screen. That's what we would like to have next to that settings icon, just next to that. Unfortunately, that has not been implemented just yet. Hopefully the developer will come up with that add-on, shall we call it, um, as it can be done in other launchers. Howl, for example, is one where you can do it. If we have a look at Howl, going down the bottom of the Howl launcher, the, the shutdown icon option, um, and clicking on that brings up the power dialog. OK, let's come out of that, back to the home screen. The third issue that we had was with backups that weren't working properly. Now, the issue was that we could import a tile configuration, previous tile configuration, and that would work fine. However, let's just say we made a mistake and imported the wrong one and we wanted to do a second import in those cases it was failing and we were getting the f we would get the message select import file and it wouldn't actually let us go into the file manager however it now works the fourth and final issue that we had which was related to the importing tile configuration the the restore issue um, was that when backups were being restored they were adding channels to the home screen without deleting the previous configurations channels so you were ending up with duplicates as you can see in this uh, screen grab from there just to show you that it's working all right now um, let's go to the Android TV home screen and as you can see we have no duplicates and if we come right all the way down to customize channels and come into the side load channel side load channel launcher 2 there's no duplicates in there okay so that works and that just about covers it let's go back to our home screen so in conclusion, the dev has done a great job in fixing those um, issues that we had. The one outstanding thing for me is to have a power dialog on the, on, to be able to configure a power dialog on the home screen. That really would be nice. Still love it. Loving this launcher. So are you using this launcher yet? Whether you are or you aren't, let us know down in the comments down below and how you're getting on with it. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And we'll catch you when you catch us in the next one. Toodle pip.